Hello and welcome in again. We're here at Moral and Historic 4th Street near downtown Reno to talk about the old Reno Brewing Company, which was located here on this corner on 4th Street. But back in the day, 4th Street was known as the Lincoln Highway or Highway 40, which was the main east-west route through town until Interstate 80 was built in the early 1970s. Most every community had their requisite early brewery, but a cool thing about Reno is that a major structure of our early brewery still stands here on 4th Street. There's a big buzz right now about Reno's craft beer scene, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to explore how our beer ancestors had it dialed in 120 years ago. Maybe you've seen this building before and wondered what it is or what it was. This was actually the bottling operation of the Reno Brewing Company which was founded in 1903 by three, well, well, let's call them what they'd be called today, 330-something beer geeks of German ancestry who arrived on the scene to help satiate the thirst of Reno and the surrounding areas. The Reno Brewing Company became famous for their brands like Sierra Beer, Royal, and One Sound State. And we can assume that these were probably lagers due to the German ancestry of the founders. Uh, for those who are new to craft beer, lager is a term that means to store and is cold fermented by yeast strains that hang out at the bottom of the fermentation vessel, as opposed to ales, which are warmer fermented and the yeast uh, hang out on top. Reno Brewing did well and ultimately became the largest brewer in the state of Nevada. And by 1907, they opened a five-story facility right here on this corner. Reno Brewing was able to survive prohibition by uh, repurposing their equipment to make things like sodas and tonics and near beer. In 1940, the RBC felt the need to expand again, so they built this bottling operation, which was illuminated by skylights right next door to their five-story facility. Like many small regional producers, Reno Brewing had to stop production and their end came in 1957 due to a number of factors, uh, problems with distribution, changing consumer tastes, and pressure from big national Anheuser-Busch suppliers. Their five-story building was torn down in 1959 in order to uh, make room for a casino, which was never built. All right, we've migrated over to Great Basin Brewing in Sparks. We attempted to reach the owner of the bottling works, but uh, our efforts were unsuccessful. The uh, last report was they were trying to convert the building into a venue for vendors and eateries and entertainment. If you happen to be that owner and you see this, please log into the comments and say hi and give us an update. I thought it would be fitting to transition from the pioneering Reno Brewing to another pioneering brew house. Great Basin Brewing is the co oldest continuously operating brewery and brew pub in the state of Nevada. And today we're enjoying a wee heavy metal. The wee heavy style is essentially an Americanized version of the higher alcohol content version of Scotch Ale, which of course is native to Scotland. These are very malty beers with lots of character, so they're not meant to be crushed, but uh, actually slowly savored so you can enjoy the complexity and the unique characteristics. Great Basin Brewing was founded in 1993 by Tom and Bonda Young. Tom was a geologist and he was actually instrumental in getting the Nevada state laws changed to permit brew pubs and breweries such as his. So if you enjoy Nevada brew pubs, you kind of owe Tom a beer. <laughs> uh, Tom's experience as a geologist actually led to the naming of his flagship beer, Ichthyosaur IPA, or Icky for short. Uh, the Ichthyosaur is the Nevada State Fossil. Mark Esty, a local chef and business owner, recently took over the reins at Great Basin Brewing, and he's just gonna continue on the legacy of great beer, great food, and great service. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, hopefully you learned something. If you like what you see, please click that little subscribe button and we'll make you more installments here in the not too distant future. Cheers.